First Lady traveling today to meet with victims and first responders in two cities devastated by mass shootings over the weekend. But his visits did not come without controversy. Critics say the president's rhetoric has encouraged a climate of hate. As Hillary Lane reports from El Paso, Texas, the president claims it's the other way around. Francis and Elliot, tensions are high here in El Paso as President Trump visits the area. There are protesters and supporters gathered behind me. The mayor of El Paso says he felt an obligation to invite the president to the area. He says it isn't a political visit, but many residents here disagree with that decision. President Trump's first stop was in Dayton, Ohio, where he visited survivors of Sunday's mass shooting and thanked the first responders. He was comforting was and he nice. did the right things and Melania did the right things and um, it's his job in part to comfort people. Outside the hospital, protesters blame the president for encouraging a culture of hate. He has a lot of power and he's been using it to incite violence. But President Trump denied that his language has contributed to the violence. No, I don't think my rhetoric has at all. I think my rhetoric is a very, uh, it brings people together. Investigators say the 24-year-old who killed nine people in Dayton's entertainment district had an interest in violent ideologies. I don't like it. Any group of hate, I am, whether it's white supremacy, whether it's any other kind of supremacy. From Dayton, the president headed to El Paso, Texas. President Trump's visit to El Paso is especially controversial. Authorities say the man accused of opening fire here at this Walmart had posted an anti-immigrant manifesto. Mourners said the president, who has complained of a Hispanic invasion, should stay away from this largely Mexican-American community. He talks about an invasion, invasion, invasion. Well, he's invading our community now. El Paso native presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke says the president is part of the problem. All of that fear, that anger, that hatred, uh, that, that willingness to dehumanize our fellow human beings uh, found a home in the killer. Despite the political back and forth, the White House says this is a day for healing and honoring the victims of senseless violence. And Beto O'Rourke has said that he believes President Trump's anti-immigrant rhetoric has incited violence. President Trump tweeting this morning that Beto O'Rourke should be quiet and respect the victims. In El Paso, Hillary Lane, CBS4 News.